What's up guys, this is Caleb. Uh, this video may be a little bit weird because my microphone went out as I was filming, but I didn't want to lose the footage and I wanted to teach you guys how to do this project. It's super easy and actually a lot of fun. So it's for a Home Depot lip. This is a lip you can get for $8 at Home Depot. It's basically a, a, a paver, a brick paver guard and you can find it in the outdoors section. Um, I'm just showing the lip here and, and, um, and so we're going to use this to create our very own custom lip. First you got to take your bumper off. I'm using my quick release here to get mine off. That's how I get it off so quickly. There is a video for that on my channel. The link is in the bottom corner. So there's some tabs that stick out from the lip that we're going to use for mounting but they're all connected and so you cut those out with just some wire cutters and that allows the lip to bend and, and be flexible. From there you're going to put a piece of blue tape on the center. I just counted each of the little tabs to find the center of the lip and place the tape right in the middle. That's going to help us line up the lip with the bumper and make sure that everything's centered and, and matches. Next, you'll place a piece of tape on the center of the bumper. You can just measure the bumper out, get it as close to the center as possible. You'll be able to line the two pieces up, the one on the lip and the one on the bumper, so that you can get it centered so it'll look awesome. Then I drilled holes on the two tabs in the middle and I used some 5 16 inch bolts through those holes that I drilled to secure the lip to the bumper. I also slid some lock washers on um, there to make sure that the, that the nuts did not rotate themselves off from vibration on the road and everything else. Next it was the same process across the bumper, so I drilled holes in, in every, every couple of tabs. I didn't drill holes in every single one, that's not really necessary. Um, but I drilled holes in the ones that I felt like I needed to create the shape that I wanted. This thing will really conform to whatever shape your bumper is. Uh, so you just have to kind of take your time and, and make sure you placed it in the right spot before you drill the holes. So when you get to the end, uh, it does take a little bit of force to bend it. Uh, it helps if you have somebody to help you. I did not, and so uh, I figured out a system that worked, but basically I drilled the hole in the lip first and then bent it down and drilled through the bumper and, uh, and then quickly pushed a screw or a, or a bolt rather through the holes that I had drilled. Um, the lip really did conform well. Uh, it's, it's a pretty strong plastic, so it is somewhat hard to bend, but um, it doesn't have any issues with pulling itself back out or anything like that. So you can see the lip really does bend around the bumper and, and really conforms to the shape well. I mean, it really is uh, an OEM looking lip for about $8, which is incredible. You just do the same on the other side. Work your way down the bumper. And just take your time and slowly bend it around the bumper, drilling holes where you need them. Next, you're going to go through to each of the screws and tighten them up. I used a drill to tighten them. You don't have to. Uh, but you just want to make sure they're really secure and really tight so that the lock washer can do its job and hold the bolt in place. And you're done, so it's time to reinstall your bumper and enjoy your new lift. This is probably one of the easiest jobs I've done, and I really, really love it. I think it looks awesome, uh, and man, it's just so cheap. Uh, so go pick up one of these lips from Home Depot and try it out yourself.
stay tuned. I've got one more video of the finished product of the Neon. I've got a couple of cars that I'm selling right now in order to make uh, some revenue for new projects that are going to be really, really awesome. So keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash DIY car projects and also on our YouTube channel, obviously. And, uh, and hopefully we're going to get some really cool stuff cranked out here in the next few months. See ya.